This is the relaunch of how to make a blog with a, with PHP and MySQL. Okay, um, in my first attempt at this tutorial, I'm going to admit it was an utter fail. I was, wasn't was really good at making tutorials, and I didn't structure out the tutorials right. So I've got the structure I wanted, you know, how to present it to you guys, and I'm looking to have this finished within a week. Okay, so step one, we're going to go ahead and find a free uh, web hosting service for the sole purpose of testing online. So you can be able to see this on multiple computers and not rely on <clears throat> using your local machine. Because when you just develop on your local machine, you might not see some of the bugs that um, other users would see on their machine because everything that runs it will be stored locally on your machine. So for this, I recommend using um, 00webhost.com great free hosting I have an account with them for testing purposes um, It's you get pretty much everything you need if you want to go ahead and park a domain that you have you can go ahead and get a free domain like one of those co.cc's which I have for this project and for my tutorials you can park it here it has great support whatever you think you wouldn't be able to do on a uh, with the free domain, you can uh, free web hosting. You can do it with this with these guys. I highly recommend it. Okay, and then now um, after that, we're gonna uh, once you create an account, or you can still do this on your local machine. Let's go ahead and set up the databases that we're gonna uh, be using for this. So. See here, I'm going to be doing this uh, live on my TJ's Tut, uh, TJstuts.co.cc well, website, so you can go ahead and follow along and check. There will be source code there, downloads, there will be um, extra videos just in case if uh, they go more in depth on some things I might cover that I can't get into on uh, YouTube because I only have 15 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a new database with them uh, for security re reasons I'm gonna pause it right here and then uh, we'll pick it pick it up once I get everything set up okay so I already created the database and then um for our admin area the area where we're gonna be adding new blog posts viewing the comments flagging comments or deleting comments we're gonna um, we're gonna need an admin login for that so I'm just made a simple admin table with username and password set them both, both to varkar uh, 255 for the encrypted password now let's go ahead and create a new table for the post okay we're going to need one for ID we're going to need uh, for title we're going to need for the body the tags uh, if it's saved or published and date so we need six fields okay the first one ID set that to int that would be a primary key auto increment title var card 255 title shouldn't be that long the body that will be a text let's see uh, we'll do a tags for so it can be searchable we'll set up a function uh, a little um, search feature that will uh, give the users when you come to it and say like let's search for any post that's containing X, Y, or Z, and they'll be able to do that. We can go ahead and set that to 255. Okay, and now let's see if uh, we're gonna set this to this uh, field to published. Okay, this is gonna be enum. And it's going to be uh, 
Y for yes, so that will post it. No would we'll just save it, so you can go ahead and update it later. So say if you're working on a, a bigger um, post or article or what have you, you can always go back to it. Date, we're going to just do a simple date function. Let's see. And we're going to set the default for the for the in, uh, for the publish to Y. Save that. Okay. Now we're going to need a table for the comments. So comments. Uh, we're going to need to have at least four fields. And have ID that would be an integer, the primary, and that will alter uh, increment. Then we need a post ID that would be an int, the comment. Let's do that text. Now, you know what? We're going to save. Uh, to say space, make that a var car and make it 140 characters, kind of like Twitter, just 140 characters, and that's it. And then we're going to need a um, date. Save that. Okay. All right, now that we have the database created, let's go ahead and make some uh, for setup purposes. We're going to make some dummy uh, posts to go to insert. This is our first post. Put some dummy text in there. All right, now for the tags, we can put a uh, first post of uh, tutorial, and let's say. Uh, test for the date Okay, so we have a first post in there just so we can, you know, for develop, de uh, developmental purposes, we can see where things are going to be at. Okay, now, so let's go ahead and look at the file structure. Alright, we're going to have an index page. We're going to have a post page, which will... When the p person or the user clicks on the link that displays your post, the post page will go ahead and show the whole post with uh, with the comments. And uh, then we're going to have an admin section where you can go ahead and make everything. So I say this is a good spot to uh, leave off. And we're going to go ahead and start the next section making the login system for the admin section. Don't forget to rate, submit, and uh, to rate, subscribe, and uh, comment. All comments will uh, would duly help. If there's anything you want me to add to this tutorial, go ahead and leave them in the comment section, and I'll see if I can go ahead and implement it in this tutorial. Thanks.